Tony Award nominations will be announced on Tuesday, and to me, the most fascinating race by far is the race for Best Leading Actor in a Play. Because there are 17 eligible performances, I have seen the vast majority of them. And while predicting and prognosticating what the Tony nominating committee will do is fun, I think it's much more fun to say what you would do if you were a one person nominating committee yourself and talk about your favorite performances. So these are the five performances I would pick with four honorable mentions. The honorable mentions are Sean Hayes in Goodnight Oscar, Hiran Abisakara in Life of Pi, Marcel Spears in Fat Ham, and Oscar Isaac in The Sign in Sidney Brewstein's Window. I would love to talk at length about any of those four performances, so if you want to hear what I think, please let me know. My number five pick for a nomination is Corey Hawkins in Top Dog Underdog. If you saw this performance, you know it is a layered and tragic performance. Number four is Jefferson Mays in A Christmas Carol. This is a solo show he plays over a dozen characters seamlessly. The transitions are crisp and the emotive quality of each one is never sacrificed. Amazing. Number three, Yahya Abdul-Mateen in Top Dog Underdog. A lot of people actually give Corey the edge over Yahya in this two-hander. I pick Yahya because Yahya has the moment of the play to me and it's the look on his face in the last scene when the switch happens. And if you, that's all I can really say about it, but that will stick with me forever. Number two is Wendell Pierce in Death of a Salesman. I saw Wendell Pierce in this production of Death of a Salesman both in London and in New York. He was even better the second time. It's a classic definitive American play. He is able to breathe new life into it in a way that I almost feel that he is the definitive Billy Loman that at least I have seen. Uh, just a sensational performance, and I really hope he's honored for it. And my number one by a hair is going to be Stephen McKinley Henderson in Between Riverside and Crazy. Steve McKinley Henderson is a legendary actor with a decades-long storied career, but this in this role, he plays like somebody you have known your entire life. You feel like you know every idiosyncrasy of this man after 10 minutes on stage. It's like I, the, the endearing nature of it was incredible, but also the way that that character is able to hold so many secrets and surprise you with things you don't see coming. Amazing, amazing performance. I hope it goes to him. Um, those are the five I would pick, but really there are 17 eligible performances. You could snatch five from here, snatch five from there, and they probably all wouldn't be undeserving. Uh, let me know if you want me to elaborate on any of these.